Welcome back everyone to another episode on Fitz PSG. So we're going to do something today. Uh, we're going to take a look at all of the stuff that I got for Christmas. Um, I am anxious to hear then in the comments afterwards what you think about what I got. And I also want to know what your favorite item is. And then also what did you get for Christmas? Did you get something that was uh, your favorite gift? Did you get a drone? Did you get a new video game? Did you get something you've been looking forward to for a long time? So today we're just going to take a quick look at all of the stuff that I got. Not going to go into like really big depth with it, but I just kind of wanted to show you overall what uh, I got because I know some people are doing this and some people do get excited. Um, so we're going to start with just, you know, something small overall. Um, one of the things I got, not super exciting for you guys, but this is going to help me just organize my working area here. And I think I'm actually going to do like a desk setup after this because I got a few things that will help clean up my setup, which are really nice. Um, I got uh, the first products from a company called Elevation Lab. I believe this was uh, purchased on Amazon. That's where I had it on my wish list. And it's simply just a headphone anchor or like a mount. So it is an under desk headphone mount that you can just apply with the uh, double sided uh, 3M tape that they have. So nice little way to put your headphones underneath and keep everything organized. So I'm going to do that because I have a few different pair of headphones. One of them rests on my um, actual case. There's a built in headphone rack, but this is going to be nice for my other pairs. So I did get that. Another thing that I got that's really nice um, is going to be the wireless adapter for my Microsoft uh, Xbox One controller. So right now what I've been doing is I've been plugging it in directly to the PC. It's kind of annoying to have the cable. It's cool because it always charges the, 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 con, uh, the controller. Um, but this is going to be nice that I can just plug it in and not have to worry about always having the cable. Um, this is the, the older version. I know in January, I believe. They are releasing a smaller version because a lot of people complain that this takes up a lot of uh, USB space. It's kind of oversized. So I know they are making a new one, but this is going to just be uh, on top of my computer. So I'm not really worried about the size. So I did get that. That should be helpful. Another thing that I got, we've got a whole bunch of gift cards. Not too exciting here, but some of my favorite places. So just like Dunkin' Donuts. Um, if there's one near you, Micro Center, it's like a Circuit City. Um, a lot of fun to go there. It's it's a nerd's uh, dream paradise. So very cool. Some of my favorite places to eat. So we've got like Outback, Bonefish Grill. Um, I'm a steak person, so Longhorn, uh, B Dubs. Love this place. I love uh, I love chicken wings. Uh, another Micro Center, uh, GameStop. We've got a, a PlayStation a store card. A Visa gift card and then another another Dunkin Donuts so overall I have a lot of uh, free meals coming which I won't complain about and I can buy some more games for the channel so that is a win-win so I like that another cool thing that I got my wife ended up getting this for me looks like just a small little handheld now I probably won't be able to play this for you because it's gonna be really hard to shoot over the shoulder and actually get a good shot uh, but this is actually, um, I'm going to put the box here. It is actually the Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Handheld. So it's really cool. It has 85 built-in games onto this little, little console. Very cool uh, how they were able to get all theirs. Now, there are some games that I have no idea what they are. Um, but there are a lot of really good ones. So example of some good ones, we've got Alex Kidd, uh, Altered Beast, uh, Comic Zone, I loved that when I was a kid. Mortal Kombat 2, 3, Kid Chameleon, Golden Axe 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Shinobi's on here. Virtual Fighter, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2, Sonic and Knuckles, and Sonic Spinball. Um, so actually some pretty good games overall. And I was actually playing this, uh, and she was as well. Um, very easy to uh, actually use. It's it's not too small. The screen is a little tiny, but it actually is kind of uh, very easy to see. They uh, translate very well to the small screen, almost like the, the size of uh, a Game Boy. Just runs on some batteries, and uh, the charge seems to last a pretty long time. I haven't run out of batteries yet. Um, just uh, 
it ha actually no it's not batteries I, I've, I apologize for that uh, it plugs in through a, a micro USB and you can recharge it so it's kind of cool um, I uh, I'm really enjoying it I've had a few people play it and they they're liking it too I haven't looked too much in depth though uh, it looks like there there's a spot for an SD card so I'm not sure if maybe you can add even more games or they have like an expandability uh, option in here but uh, very very cool worked really nice I like this uh, now this is um, this is going to be for the uh, desk as well this is actually from a company called Zeus Gear and is an ex extended XL gaming mouse pad so this is going to be actually really nice so this is going to be a large mouse pad that I can put not only under my keyboard but also under the mouse so it kind of covers the entire desk area so that way um, you have plenty of space for the actual mouse to go at and apparently it does not want to pull out there we go so this if you can see is ginormous so this is going to be a really really nice mat that i can I can use it feels like a nice cloth material um, I really like it it had really good reviews on Amazon and I think it was only like 25 bucks which is really impressive for the size I know some of the bigger name companies this would easily be 50 60 bucks because you know that's what they do um, this I'm not gonna take out but you can kind of see it on the box this is a uh, monitor arm so what I can do is my one monitor is um, able to be mounted so I will end up taking the stand off and I will mount it to this arm and then you just kind of screw the bottom of the base into your desk and you have adjustable arms where you can move the monitors all around which frees up a lot of space I have one of these at work and it's really really nice so this is kind of cool to have overall my my other monitor my second monitor is not uh, VESA mountable so I'm gonna end up having to buy a new monitor which isn't a, a bad thing because it's kind of older and it doesn't work very well so I'll end up having both of the monitors on there and that's what I might do like a setup kind of show you what I've upgraded to and how it's going put that in the front now I did get a new game as well I wanted this one this one looked really good uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 um, has really good reviews the first one I believe was on the Wii very hard to find so I've unfortunately never played it I have watched people play it um, but this looks like a really good game I'm I'm really looking forward to this so it's probably as soon as I finish uh, Mario Odyssey I will end up playing this now one of the things they got me a lot of because I told them I didn't feel like a man since I am very nerdy uh, I got a whole bunch of power tools they figured it'd be cool to actually get this nerd some some tools so we've got say you know like a ratchet set with a whole bunch of stuff so wrench and socket set we've got a ton of drill bits and this goes hand in hand with the big item they got me hold on guys oh look at this bad boy I have a circular saw a drill a flashlight and a reciprocating saw now I think the reason they mainly got this for me is we ended up making a custom litter box for our animals and cut a hole into like a giant bin to make a huge litter box and I used his reciprocating saw and I didn't know these things existed because you know nerds um, but this thing was so cool and it blew my mind and I think that was like light bulb so they ended up buying me one of these so I have one of my own and it's Ryobi so like it's really good name so I'm excited to open this up and uh, you know make stuff because it sounds like fun now the last thing they I got let me put this back over here guys last thing I got my cats hate me I got a a drone very entry-level drone but this thing is fun I've been flying it around the apartment which I don't recommend very hard to do and not a really good idea to learn while inside I am looking forward to uh, flying this outside and seeing what it can do um, wasn't too expensive but a lot of fun to just kind of 
and play out with it. And uh, the cool feature is this one actually has a small little camera here in the front. So I'm hoping that I can start getting some like drone shots or kind of do some cool stuff. Maybe just shoot some stuff outside, see kind of where it takes me. I don't really know much about these, but I've, I've wanted one of these for a long time. So I'm kind of curious to see how the uh, quality is. And I look forward to playing uh, with this and seeing if maybe I can do something with the channel on it. But this, I absolutely love this thing. So much fun. So I think that that's everything that I got. Uh, pretty good haul overall. Um, I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about everything? Uh, what, what's your favorite item that you got, uh, that I got here? Um, what, what was the favorite gift that you got? Uh, maybe you didn't get anything. Maybe you went on a trip. Maybe you did something cool. Um, let me know. Just let me know in the comments. I'm hoping that you like this video. I know it was a little bit different, uh, not the uh, normal stuff that I do on the channel. Um, but I will go back to playing some more games. I'll be doing more of the Super Nintendo classic stuff. I also have a lot of new games that I want to play. Plenty of stuff to open and unbox. And I want to show you um, my setup tour. Tons of really cool content coming. So hopefully you stick around and uh, you like the channel. If you're new, uh, maybe think about hitting that subscribe button. Uh, maybe check out some of my other videos, the actual gaming ones. And um, leave a like, comment, and uh, I will see you guys back here on the next episode of Fitz PSG.